What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Cousin, and I'm doing my first mukbang. But if I'm gonna do my mukbang, I'm gonna do it Kate Verdean style, because that's the only way I know how. All right, so if you don't know what Cape Verde is, Cape Verde is a country that has 10 islands on the west coast of Africa, and there's so many beautiful people there. Oh, it's so beautiful. So we're gonna talk about what I got going on over here. All right, so right now I have some kachupa guisada with some fried eggs. I got some palm, I got some pijos, I got some couscous, I got some atum, and I got some monte bac. All right, so for all my Creoles, you know everything that I said. For all my people that are not Cape Verdean, you can Google it or whatever the case may be. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Cape Verde, but I'm gonna get into this beautiful goodness. Oh, I can't wait, a little bit of hot sauce, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, so for y'all don't know, like I said, Cape Verde is a country uh, that's on the west coast of Africa. It has 10 islands and there's so many beautiful people. We are African, even though some people, you know, we'll get into that on a whole nother topic. All right, but we're gonna get into it. All right, so first I'm gonna try some of this fried kachupa. Oh, I love fried kachupa. Mm, let me get into it. Mmm, ah, mm, kachupa gazaba. It's basically fried kachupa, not kachupa. Mmm. Kachupa is basically, it's a soup or a stew that has a little bit of everything in it. But when you have it the next day, kachupa gazaba, you take that soup or that stew and you fry it and you put it with eggs. Ah, oh, it's perfect. It's so perfect. It's so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's so good. Mmm. I can't forget, I also have some coffee, but that's what you're supposed to do. All right, so this is a breakfast that you would have on a Sunday. Most of the time it's on a Sunday, but you know, it is what it is. Now, even though I said that Cape Verde is a country off the coast of West Africa, we have a large, large population here in the United States, mostly in the New England area. So in Rhode Island, Connecticut, in Massachusetts, all right? So where I live, I live in Pawtucket. And I like to call Pawtucket Little Brava. Only reason why is because there's a lot of people from Brava. That's an island in Cape Verde. You can Google that up, all right? Now, there's a lot of people in Brockton, uh, a lot of people in Norwich, Connecticut. We have a good representation here in the United States. We also have good representation in Holland. All right, but this Cape Verdeans everywhere. You probably don't even know it, but this Cape Verdeans everywhere, with everywhere that you could possibly think of. Mmm, so good. Mmm, so good. You don't even know what you're missing. Mmm, 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 mmm. I just want you to look at how good this is. Mmm, it, it's, it's the best. Like, this is a meal that's gonna fill you up, give you the energy that you need, and you're gonna feel good. It's home cooked. You know what I mean? It's so good. Mm. We're gonna try some other stuff, okay? Mm. For how a bit of that. Now I'm gonna try some monkey bob. Mm. This right here, I like a little bit of hot sauce on this too. That's a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so what I like to do is I like to get my palm and I like to break a nice little piece off and dip it right in there. Mmm, ah, mmm, mmm. Mmm, so good. Mmm, so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm gonna take a big spoon and I just get in. You just gotta get in. This right here is so good. All right, so normally when they uh, do the uh, kachupa gazada, they usually put um, shadis in there. I don't really care for shadis that much, so I usually get mine without. Well, I like mine with sometimes with a little bit of onion on it or whatever, but it doesn't really matter. It's still good regardless, all right? But we're gonna get into the monkey bok. All right, so bok is basically it's cow soup. It's like a cow soup of that, um, it's chickpeas. I was gonna say the other word, but it's chickpeas. It's good, it got potatoes. As you can see, I'm gonna get right into it. Look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness, this is like, this is like Cape Verdean gold, if you will, so good. Mmm, wow. Mmm, look at this. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, look at this. So good. Mmm. Mmm. You just take your bread. You just mm, break off a piece. You just dip it right in. Mmm. 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 Mm. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. So good. Alright. So let's get into a few things. Alright. 
So me, I go by the name of Mr. Kuze. Now, Kuze actually means what in Creole, all right? It means what if you're from, if you're from like, if you speak body, it means what? And the reason why I go by Mr. Kuze is because what's next? That's how I look at it. I mean, I'm like a fourth generation of Cape Verdean descendant, if you will. So my great grandmother, she was from Praia, all right? And that's on the island of Santiago, all right? So. This is why I love Cape Verdean food so much. Now, my Creole is probably the worst Creole that you've ever heard in your life. I probably messed up on a few of these things, but it's okay, because my Cape Verdean audience, y'all know what this already is. This soup is so good. Oh, I love it. Mm. It's so good. All right, so another thing we're gonna get into is we're gonna get into this atun. Now, Cape Verde is known for a lot of different things. Fish is one of them, all right? We call fish pish, fish. But this is a tuna, all right? Now this is tuna. That's what a tuna means. It's tuna, all right? So this is a nice piece. It's like a tuna steak. Mmm, let me get into that. Mmm. Oh my, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee real quick. Wash this down. Mm. All right. So, there's so many different ways that you can make a tune. All right, so one of my favorite things to do with a tune or tuna is to make a pastel. Now a pastel is kind of like a meat pie and what they do is they have a dough and you flatten it out and you take the tune and you season it up and it's shredded up and you fold it in and you fold up the thing, the sides, and you take your fork and you press it down and you fry it. Oh, it comes out so crispy, so good. Oh, it's like one of the best for me. It's one of the best things to eat. I love it so much. Mm, 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 keep going. Mm, keep going. But I'm gonna go back to my cracker chupa because I, I can't live without this. Mm. I can't live without this at all. Mm, so good. All right, so what I like to do is you take a little bit of hot sauce, right? You take a little piece of the egg, a little piece of the egg, and you put it in there. No, I'm gonna finish what I'm eating in my mouth. You put a little piece of the egg with the kachupa, make it like a combination of oh, this. Mmm, 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 mmm. I have so much food in. Mmm. All right. Mmm. Oh, All right. So mm. let me get into some couscous and some pizzas, just because it's so good. All right, now couscous is a little bit dry. But it's okay. I'm gonna save this for my monthly bar, for my soup. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Now this is couscous. Couscous is a little dry. What I like to do with my couscous because it's it's, a, it's you know it's a little bit dry. I like to soak it a little bit in my coffee like this. Mmm. Just a little bit. Now this one has like a cinnamon. -y. Like nutmeg, it's nice and sweet and very good. Mmm, I enjoy it. Take a little sip of this. Mmm, so good. Okay, we have this right here. Mmm, mmm. Let me get this couscous down real quick. But we have this. If you look at it, it's, it's fried, it's very light. I'm right, gonna take a bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now to me, to me, it tastes like a combination of like a pancake and a muffin. But it's sweet and it's fried. You can see my hands are a little bit greasy. But that's okay, because sometimes you need it to be a little bit greasy, it's good. Mmm, sweet dot, I like that. But as you can see, I'm just gonna keep switching plates. I'm gonna go back to this, the monkey vodka. Ah, oh, so good. Now, the thing about Monkey Bop is if you have a night where you was partying, you was having fun. Now, my Creole people, my Cape Verdean people, we are known to party. We are known to have fun. So, the best thing about Monkey Bop is if you partied all night and you wake up in the morning and you got a little bit of a hangover or whatever the case may be, you get yourself a nice bowl of this, you'll be feeling right back on your feet again. You'll be ready to party the next day. All right, it's so good. Mmm, mmm, so good. And a little bit of hot sauce 
gives it a little bit of kick. It's so good. Mm. 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 So good. Mm. Look, I got plates all over the place. Bring it in. So, if you're ever in Rhode Island or uh, Massachusetts or whatever, there's a lot of Cape Verdean restaurants you can go to and you can get some of these beautiful dishes. Mm. I mean, it'll be a lot. Mm. So good. I don't know. I can't stop eating it. Mm. Mm. Now, if you look, you got some of the bones in here because we are island people. Got some of the bones to get some of the juices and, and the stuff from the, uh, the, the marrow. I like to suck on the bones. I like that. Mm. 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 You gotta get that juice out because that's where the good stuff is. But it's so good. Mm. Oh man, it's so good. All right. I, mean, yeah. I think I'm gonna just take some of the scoops and put it in there because I ran out of some of the bread. Mm -hmm. It works. It works. It's still good. All right. Mm. I'm gonna get a little bit more. Mm. 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 Oh. I don't even know if I'm gonna finish all this. Mm. It's so good. Mm. I like, personally, I like my coffee kind of lukewarm, just black, no sugar, no cream, none of that stuff like that. I'm gonna put this hot sauce over here, and I'm gonna go right back. I got so many places to go, go into. But like I said, if you're ever in any areas like Kentucky, Massachusetts, if in Brockton or whatever, feel free to go to any of these beautiful Cape Verdean restaurants. I'm not gonna say all their names because there's so many of them, but if you don't know about Cape Verde, you should definitely Google it. Uh, we are known for so many things uh, in Cape Verde. Um, Santa Antonio, they're known for having uh, this alcohol called Grog. And oh, it's made from sugarcane. Uh, and it's so good. Me personally, I like it with a, I like it with a little bit of lime. Just a little bit of lime in a shot glass. And you just sip on it. So good. It tastes sweet, but it will ooh, mess you up. It will mess you up because it's strong. But it's so good. I also like them in a, a caipirinha. Mm, so good. I'm mm, gonna keep eating. I'm gonna keep eating. I feel like a pig. Mm, I have another piece of fish. See what you can do sometimes? You can put your, you can put your fish right in here. All right. But before I go, we gotta talk about a few rules, okay? All right. So right now, if you notice, I call this cachupa gizad or cachupa. There's some people that will call this Munchupa. Don't ever say Munchupa. It's disrespectful, okay? I don't know what island that came from. I don't know what place or who decided to do that. But I don't know. Some people be like, yeah, I want some Munchupa. I look at them like, what are you talking about? What is Munchupa? I mean, it basically means the Chupa. But, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that name. We just don't like to say it, okay? You don't call it Munchupa. You call this Kachupa. All right. All right. So remember, always call this Kachupa, never Munchupa. This is Kachupa. All right. So I'm almost finished, but before I get out of here, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, K Bird. Mm. All right. So like I said, K Bird is uh, it's a country off the west coast of Africa. It got its Independence Day July 5th of 1975, and we do have two flags. The flag I showed you in the beginning of the video, that flag was made in like 1992. And we have an old flag. So if you ever notice that, you'll notice some uh, Cape Verdeans that have the new flag, they have the old flag. It doesn't matter, we all represent. Like I said, you're gonna see a lot of Cape Verdeans in the New England area, uh, that's in Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Holland. We're all over the world, we're very beautiful people. We come in different shades and colors. So you could talk to somebody who's Cape Verdean who looks like they're white, or you could talk to somebody from Cape Verde who looks like they're, excuse me. Ugh. 
Oh, all that's coming up. You can talk to somebody from uh, King Bird who looks like they're completely dark. We come in all different shades, all different flavors, all different colors, and we're from so many different islands. Um, like I said, they, uh, ah, the language of Cape Verde is very unique due to the fact that there's 10 islands uh, and every island speaks a little bit different. So sometimes you'll be talking to somebody from one island and you might be under, able to understand them a little bit, but you might not be. It all depends on uh, which island you're from. I happen to notice that people from Praia, they speak a little bit faster. Uh, I noticed the people from like Sunny Cloud, Saint Anton, uh, they speak a little bit slower. Um, it all depends, like I said, each island has their own little bit of flavor, but at the end of the day, we are one. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a lot of food, I am full. And, uh, but anyway, this is my first mukbang. I'm so souped, I'm so excited that I got to do this with y'all. Uh, but make sure you subscribe, hit the notification buttons if you wanna see any more videos. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of everything and I'm gonna always do the things that I love. So like I said, I'm gonna do videos about comedy, I'm gonna do videos about K-Bird, I'm gonna do videos about where I'm from. So tune in and I'm out of here. Peace.